Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is a bit different to normal multiplication and there are special rules for this. To really understand the rule, all I want you to do is focus on the patterns that lead to this rule. So, to work out uh, the, this matrix times this vector, we're going to multiply the top row by the column and that will give us the top number. And to do that, we're going to do 2 times 5. And then we're going to do 1 times minus 2. And we're going to add those two values together. 2 times 5 plus 1 times minus 2 gives me a value of 8. Now, I'm going to do 3 times 5 plus 7 times minus 2. And when I work that out, 3 times 5 plus 7 times minus 2, I get 1. And I've multiplied this matrix by this vector to get 8, 1. To do that, just focus on the pattern that I used. To get the top number, I did the top column times the first, sorry, the top row multiplied by the first column. 2 times 5 plus 1 times minus 2. 2 times 5 plus 1 times minus 2. To get the bottom number, to get 1, I did 3 times 5 plus 7 times minus 2. The bottom row multiplied by the column. 3 times 5, 7 times minus 2, I got 1. And that's how you multiply a matrix by a vector. Now, let's multiply a matrix by a matrix. And to get the First number in my matrix, I'm going to multiply the top row by the first column. I'm going to do 6 times 1 plus 0 times 4. 6 times 1, 0 times 4. Now, that gives me 6. To find the next number, I'm going to multiply the top row by the second column. 6 times 1.5. 0 plus 0 times minus 1. 6 times 1.5 is 9, plus 0 is 9. To find the bottom left number, that's in the first column and the bottom row. I'm going to multiply the bottom row by the first column. 1 times 4 plus minus 1 times 4 gives me 0. Finally, 4 times 1.5 plus minus 1 times minus 1, like this. I'm multiplying the bottom row by the last column. And I get this matrix here, and I just want to point out how I got uh, specific values here. Let's focus on this 9 here. To get that 9, that 9 is in the first row and the last column, which means I multiply the first row by the last column. So look, kind of think about uh, the position of that number, and it's in the first row, it's in the last column, so you multiply the first row by the last column. The first matrix, you multiply the rows, and the second matrix, you multiply the columns. It's always in that order, rows and then um, columns. Okay, that is how you multiply matrices together. We've got some practice for you to try here. There's some on the screen. I like to uh, pause the video and have you got this yourself. Um, there are two interesting ones on the board, uh, on the screen. Uh, there's this one uh, where you have to find the A's and B's here. And you have to find the specific value of A and the specific value of B in that matrix, uh, in the, that matrix and that vector. So you kind of have to work backwards a little bit there. I'm also really interested in if you can see any patterns with um, the 1001 matrices. Uh, there's something special about those that you might be interested in spotting. Okay, when you're ready, press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. 
We're covering GCSE, A-level, further maths and IB maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos are coming very soon. You can also check out advancedmaths.com for more free, simple revision resources. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.